welcome back to the retro sports gamer channel this is nhl 94 going to play just a couple games the retro sports gamer championship finals are going to be this sunday around 6 p.m central standard time we actually did not finish the finals of the tournament uh on saturday so we're going to be doing that on Sunday. It's going to be myself versus Green Magic in the opener. And DPS has got the buy. As you see, the points were accumulated on the right side. Mort earned enough points to be in the final four, but is not going to participate. So it's just going to be us three. So I'm going to just play a couple games. Uh, what's up, Jeffrey Williams, Infamous Smoke. This game, out of the four games that we could play in the best of three each round, is definitely my biggest weakness. It's NHL 94, NBA Showtime on the Dreamcast, Tecmo Super Bowl on the Nintendo, and NFL Blitz on N64. So, I do think... What's up, Sean? I do think, uh, you know, with a little bit of practice... Just a little feel. I could squeak one out against Green Magic. So he's definitely better than me. But I have beat him before. But I'm really just a disgrace um, in this game, to say the least, uh, this last year. I haven't played it that much. So I'm going to get into this game here. So as you see at the bottom, there was individual tournaments and we accumulated points and uh dps also won the rbi tournament so he's gonna be the big money winner whether he wins the 150 here on sunday or not uh joseph did win the nba showtime tournament but uh you know it's 50 dollars won that one 150 DPS won 250 and he won four of the tournaments. He was just on fire. Sean, uh, Slapshot Sean called it that DPS was going to be hot and he was. He won Blitz. He won Tecmo Super Bowl in a close one versus Mort. He, uh, what else? He won RBI, like I just said, and uh, NHL 94. Yeah, I asked him. Mort is a great guy. I wish he would play, but I understand why he doesn't want to, you know. Uh, things have been a little bit different on the channel this year since uh, with everything going on, and he's just not going to do it right now. So we just have to respect his wishes, and he's a great gamer. And we'll be playing with him again someday, I hope. So Vancouver Canucks, I'm going up against the Red Wings. Red Wings are a tier one team. Canucks are very fast. And I did this wrong because I'm the Red Wings. But I'm just going to play it anyways and just switch the teams here. I'll go with the Red Wings. Why not? I could use the better team. So, just thinking about, I will have to play Green Magic here first. I just squeaked in. I mean, basically the way I accumulated points is when I was at my soberest at, at the, the tournament on Saturday, I did get to the Blitz Finals. So, I got two points there, and then I was in the RBI Baseball Final Four. And that's how I got them. You know, I, I feel like I definitely underperformed. My big loss of the day was a, a loss to Troy in NBA Showtime. Uh, basically what happened is I didn't put tournament mode on and I thought I could beat him anyways. That was pretty good. That felt good. And, uh, you know, he did what he had to do to win. He just kept passing on the computer, and uh, he made it happen. And he just beat me. You know, the computer was doing a lot for him. 
And uh, so I won't make that mistake again. You know, if tournament mode's not on, I'll just abort game and restart. I wish you could just put it on on that game like you can in NBA Jam TE, but you cannot. You just have to type in the... Basically, you hit all buttons once and then hit down. So turbo, pass, and shoot. And oh, how did he miss that? What's up, Patrick? How you doing? Thanks for checking out the tournament Saturday. So the finals are coming up on Sunday. My brother will be here, Lumberjack Cracks, to provide that playoff atmosphere and commentary. What's up, Tim? And I'm looking forward to getting another play session in. The good thing about it not uh, finishing is, well, I could invite my friends over to play some more games. <laughs> and uh, I think... As long as the tournament went, I want to say the RBI was done at like 11 p.m. We, everyone was just too tired to, uh, you know, pick a champion at that point. And since everyone in the Final Four was from Chicago, I made that choice. Madden franchise, that's right. I know. I like, I really like doing those, um... I wish I had more like two and a half hour blocks of time to do a continuous stream. Oh, goalie got that one. 6 p.m. Central Time, around that time. So, you know, 6, 6.30. It's going to be me and Green Magic to open. He's the higher seed, so he'll get to pick games one and three. I only get to pick game two. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he picks. I think I'm most evenly matched with him. With DPS, I'm for sure to lose at this game. With Green Magic, pretty much have a shot in all the games. And I think it's a huge advantage that I can go into the tournament without any beers in the system. I don't know. I think it's just because I'm the Red Wings. I'm scoring easily. What's up, Eli the Wolf? But, uh, yeah, the one... So, I think with the tournament, looking at it for, for next year, I think a lot of... A lot of everyone there wants to cut RBI baseball. I hate to take baseball out of it. But, you know, NFL Blitz is such an exciting game, even though there's two football games in. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But definitely all of them would have to be single elimination. We did the uh, Tecmo Super Bowl tournament is double, which is great to play in a double elim elimination Tecmo tournament. But... That's really what uh, made the tournament take quite a while. What's up, Stun Roxy? How you doing? Oh, goaltender. Blocking it down. All right, let's get something going here. And the thing with NHL 94, I was never just, like, naturally good at this game. So, it's always been a struggle. I've had times where I've played it more while I've been better, but uh, it's just one of those games I don't do well at. Hockey games in general, unless they're... What the heck? Oh, was this line change? Unless they're, uh, like, an arcade game. Hockey game. I'm good at those, but and you could argue that this one's probably more arcadey than anything. But uh, it's still meant to be a simulation. Could be harder to score some goals. I don't have a uh, tons of tricks up my sleeve like uh, Angry Jay and King Raf. I've watched you know their videos, of course, just to get better. But it's easier said than done. 
06 on the GameCube. Yeah, a lot of people like Ken Griffey on the N SNES. Uh, the first one, I Ken Griffey Jr. presents. I don't like the fielding. It's too zoomed in. I don't like baseball games like that. And the second one has better fielding, but uh, I would say it's not as popular. This is the winning run I'm talking about. And uh, the ball gets in too fast to like get extra bases. So it's not a perfect game either. So I don't know. Baseball is one of those games that has tons of retro ones to choose from. It's just, uh, you know, getting everyone on the same page of which one is the best and which one to play. And it's just not really, it's not really happening. Home Run King, yeah, made by Sega on the GameCube. That's a one that's not as well known. <laughs> Ran into the goalie and just couldn't knock it in. One of the things I things I notice I do in this game too is when I'm in the heat of the moment playing someone, I just use my left thumb way too hard on the D-pad moving my guy around. It seems to work a lot better when you're just easily making... Just minor movements with the D-pad. I really prefer the six-button D-pad. Like the six-button controller, I feel like the D-pad is much better on that than the three-button Sega controllers. Those ones I really get a stiff thumb from. When I'm playing NHL 94. Other games, it's fine for me, but... I don't know, something about being on the ice... Eh, no, no skills there in the breakaway game. A lot of people like MVP Baseball 2005. I personally never got into it. It's like, oh, I totally missed that opportunity. I should have just slightly moved around the goalie there. The games are quick in NHL 94. Just quick little five minute bursts. So that's kind of my best way to score is just extend the goalie, but some of the guys are so good at using manual goaltender, they'll they'll cut that off really easily. Home Run King is fun. I did play it on the channel before. I like it. Eight bit do Sega Wireless Controller, best controller for Genesis. Also have ESPN and LB two K five on PS two. That's cool. So that was a quick one for nothing. You know, if I was good at this game, I should light them up for at least seven or Eight, probably over 10 goals but hey I'll take just getting a few in and getting a feel for the game so let's get another game going here so I'm interested to see what uh, game green magic will pick first to play me in I think blitz Tecmo I could take him but he might have a slight advantage uh, We'll see. I think he has advantage in this game. And Showtime, I probably have a slight advantage. So, we'll see. Showtime, I'm going to have to win in Showtime versus him. And if I'm fortunate enough to move on to play DPS, I'm going to have to win in Showtime again as well. Dynasty mode with the Avalanche. Nice. Alright, so...
Let's switch up the teams here. I always use the Kings a lot because they have good shooters. Yeah, Detroit's very good in this game. Let's go with the Penguins and go up against the uh, Maple Leaves. Let's do that. Penguins, Maple Leaves. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can get uh, one of the other guys to start doing some of the fantasy drafts. Um, I would like to see, you know, DPS, even Green Magic, do some more on the channel this year. Our brothers pops in and out. And Sean's been stepping up. So, hopefully we have more of that. What did I say? The Maple Leafs. Put Mark Messier and Adam Graves on the Avalanche in that game. Nice. Well, this game's got some good sound. You know, it can be very exciting if uh, two guys are evenly matched. I was, I was looking at the stream overlay and I'm like, you know, I have it a little off. It's cutting off the number like 23 on Gil, but no, that's the way it actually looks on the, the TV screen. Yeah, Green Magic does have a lot of insightful streams. I know he, he struggles with the technology just a little bit. The the capture card, it works everything with the the Mac but sometimes it, it cuts out on the program you have to use on there they don't really have a good OBS maybe they do now I don't know I haven't tried it in a couple years so maybe they got something going on OBS for the Mac the problem was I believe they didn't you could put OBS on the Mac but it didn't read the capture card through it something like that so when I had to stream through the Mac when I first started the channel it was a pain like I really struggled with it but then I figured out how to do it it was easier to do with the Elgato game capture software uh, but it would sometimes cut out weird stuff would happen it was usually good for streams under an hour though but when Green Magic does streams he goes all in and does a few hours PS1 sports games that I would consider yes uh, NHL 2 on 2 Open Ice Challenge comes to mind is like a hockey game that I would consider it's an exclusive to that system and it's fun arcade hockey game uh, I'm trying to think basketball you know the, the better hang time is on N64 Probably that's it. Yeah, probably that's the only one off the top of my head. I don't know why I have these line changes on. The Tecmo 3 streams. Yeah, I you know, the, the, the best Tecmo 3 guys were the No Frills Tough Guy League and... They ran their seasons like every twice a year and it was it was a great event because they did it for three days straight and played nonstop. It was it's one of the probably the most incredible thing I've seen in retro sports games. But to my knowledge, they have not done anything this last year. I don't know when it's coming back, but that was kind of one of my favorite events in retro sports games that uh, someone else did. <laughs> Where does College Slam rank? Uh, it's up there. Like for college games, it's my preferred game because it basically plays like NBA Jam TE and a few extra features like the tip-in dunks and like the sadder version. You could even do some alley-oops. 
Because there's not really college arcade sports games besides that. There might be a f something else, but... Yeah, these guys don't feel as fast as the Red Wings. The Red Wings, everything came kind of easy. <laughs> Blades of Steel is a fun one. The thing about Blades of Steel is it doesn't have a depth of an NHL 94. All the players are pretty much the same. Whereas this game has some tremendous depth with player speed. Oh, I almost had a chance there. Player speed, uh, you know, shooting ability, checking, goaltending. There's a lot. There's a lot to it. And then you get into like the CB checks, like which is Genesis, where they messed up the, the code on the weight. So it's actually reverse. So the, the uh, heaviest guys are actually the lightest when you do the checks. But if you hit CB to like quickly get off the guy before the check happens, then it's it's true to the weight. So it's just one of those things. Blades of Steel is funnier. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not better. But it is a classic. It's one of my favorite hockey games. It is my favorite on the Nintendo. But I think Showtime was a good in addition to the uh, tournament. It's a little bit newer. Better graphics. Exciting gameplay. On Sega Dreamcast. He, oh man, Yager is moving slow. One thing I'm really weak on this game is one timers. I just can't seem to figure out when the guy is coming for the one timer sometimes. It's like I'm passing blind. Blades of Steel 99? No, that's more of like a simulation experience. Oh, come on. I don't know if everyone's just that much slower. It's a controller or what? Ooh, it looks like I... Finally, got the goalie out of position. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, it was good. I mean, five games. A lot of exciting ones. Game Boy Color version. The Game Boy Color version, I don't know. I never played that version, but... I don't know if you could say any of the Game Boy versions are better. The one that I will say is pretty true to the original is uh, Tecmo Bowl. is pretty close to the NES game as far as the gameplay. So that's one I would recommend. And here we go. All of a sudden got hot. Yeah, it does. It plays like the original NES game. I'm trying to think, when can I do some more fantasy drafts? I could do them in different games. Like, NBA doesn't take as long. Uh, just because the draft is much shorter. There's only about 12 players you draft. It only takes like an hour and a half or so. The issue for me is it's just uh, with two daughters, I've been pretty tired at night <laughs> and waking up early.
the Mew. Oh, how's Lemieux miss that? He's got a 99 shot accuracy or something. Defenseman knocks it in. So this is good. I'm glad I popped this in for a little bit because I feel like I can potentially score some goals. I'm counting on probably playing this game on Sunday. Because these guys are going to know this is a weakness of mine. Although I don't know how much Green Magic's played it lately. And if he is supremely confident in it. So that's why I'm playing it. Just to give myself a feel going in. Defenseman. Oh. Can't get it in. Nah, well, a little bit. I don't ever on too many games. Uh, oh, see, that was a one-timer opportunity I just missed. Uh, we play, like, the games. She likes his uh, Pokemon... What is it? Let's go Pikachu. Just like catching the actually p actual Pokemon. She likes that. And then uh, we play like this Reader Rabbit preschool game. It's like a, a learning game on the Wii. And I bought a Leap TV, which is like from LeapFrog. And they got some games on there. It's another game console. But to be honest with you, it, it's really glitchy. I would not recommend it. Stick to their, you know, their tech that's scaled down with the toys. It's much better than them trying to do a game console. That's why I just ended up trying something on the Wii because the Wii is d well done and the game on there is much better. <laughs> Reader Rabbit is a retro classic. Yeah, it wouldn't be too exciting to play on the channel, but. Not bad. Didn't give up any goals. Scored some. Got hot. Scored three in a row. So we'll see. Oregon Trail and Number Munchers. Yeah, those were like the the first games they would put on the computers. Like if you had, or at a school, they would let you play in the computer lab. It was pretty much Oregon Trail. We had like some Math Blaster game. But it's really quite amazing looking back on it. Like going to the computer lab was like a rare thing, you know. Well, I wouldn't say rare, but like once a week or once every two weeks. Got to mess around with it to where it's like now, it's like, hey, yeah, yeah, just do the whole school on the computer now. <laughs> Don't even have the teachers in front of you. Yeah, LeapFrog, it, it's, I mean, it works. It's fine, but sometimes it really glitches. It's got these little, little cartridges that kind of look like Game Boy Advance, but they're just connected to like a micro SD card. Jazz Ball, that one I don't remember. I don't know, you guys want to see one more? Let me play with some worse teams. Let's go Mighty Ducks. And let's go Tampa Bay Lightning. Track and field two. Anaheim and Grand 
Great Marco Polo says only the greatest hockey game ever. A lot of people would agree with you. There's there's some that I like better, but just because I like arcade hockey games more. I like over exaggerated hockey with big checks where guys flip over and the <laughs> the glass breaks when you slam a guy into it. Oh yeah, Dusty Diamond Softball is a good one. It's one of those NES games that holds some some value. I don't know what it's running now, but I've seen it up there in like the seventy dollar range. Ooh, thought I had a shot there. Oh man, that's bad. So, do you guys play the NHL? rewind on the current NHL game because I've heard of people playing that and with share play you could play versus others it has updated rosters that would be fun to do but still my my favorite gaming experiences always come from being in person playing with other people. Sneak it through. Yeah, Adam, it is true. I, people are getting mad at others' opinions. A divide has been created, unfortunately. And we gotta find a way to get past it. Is it possible? Yes. Is it going to happen? I don't know. But I think if you, once you see something's not right, I think you should definitely speak out and challenge others on what you see. And if they don't like it, they can't handle it, then it's just what's going to happen, you know? Yeah, I really like NHL Hits 2002. That's one of the games I would put up there that I've played for a lot of hours. And I think a lot of people would say, even though that this game is better, that uh, that game might be more exciting to watch. I don't know. What do you guys think? What would be more exciting for you to watch? NHL 94 or Hits 2002? Oh man, the speed is just too slow. Young guys need to be shown the way. Oh, I finally let up a goal. Yeah, I really don't like what's going on targeting the youth now. You know, I knew it wasn't the best before. With some of the control tactics, the uniforms... Teaching them ways to think or not think, like common core math and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's it's really bad if things stick the way they are now. So we'll see what happens. But a lot of people say NHL 94. Adam says hits 02. So, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks, the movie. When I was younger, my dad <laughs> took me and my sister to go see it. And it was a Disney movie, right? So, Disney, I guess, had a reputation for some reason of being, like, for kids. Although, obviously, if you're seeing it with a certain eye, it's not. In a lot of ways, but... Um, there's a part in the movie where they they start swearing at the on top of the coach's car, I think it is. And he pulled us out. He's like, "Nope." He's like, "We're not watching the rest of this. Let's go." 
Like, he was bad. And um, I never really cared too much when I was younger about that. But, you know, I see why he did it now as uh, being a dad of my own. But, uh, yeah, so I never really watched the Mighty Ducks series because of that. I don't know if it's good or it's worth checking out. Uh-oh. Jurassic Park. That's that's another one I never really got into. Netflix is, uh, yeah, I mean... It's pick and choose, but it's not what it used to be. It's clearly agenda-driven on a lot of the shows. I think if people just spent more time not on screens and just talking to other people and being out there in nature, things would be much different, but that's not the current reality. A thousand hours? That's a lot. Yeah, I'm struggling with these slow teams. Really gotta bust some moves out. You'd say hits. Because there's a lot of NHL 94. Yeah, the hits got the fights too. Snow purser, you see a 125 pound lady smashing a 230 pound male. It's. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's up, George Jr.? All right, here we go. We got we got something to play for here in this third period. You know, I did order a trophy for the champion. And I'm supposed to be here before last Saturday. Was not here. I have not heard from the company at all. And I have no idea if it's coming or not. Oh, man. That was a big missed opportunity. Trying to ram it in there. Yeah, I don't know if this place is out of business. I have to imagine they've been struggling with, you know, not having as many events. One of the favorite donut places that me and my wife have been going to for the past... Probably three years. That just closed down. For good. They just... We're just hanging in there and... With no end in sight. They decided it's just too much of a hassle to stay in business. Provide other opportunities. It was called Craft Coffee and Donuts. And you see that a lot. Businesses going out. Finally... That's why you do the manual goalie, because that goalie's just moving out of the way. Mutant League football or hockey would be a good tournament. Yeah, I agree. I know the hockey game moves a little slow in comparison to NHL 94. This is the Sega one. I guess I didn't really put that in the, the title but yeah this is a Sega Genesis one this is the one we always use as the primary one for tournaments we've played our fair share of the Super Nintendo one as, to, as well and in tournaments but you know this this past year as far as events streaming tournaments it's really there really hasn't been anything to do besides for what we've created for ourselves and Troy's tournaments in Wisconsin. Uh, 
It looks like there is going to be a Tecmo Super Bowl tournament, though, in get the win 2-1 to one in Wisconsin, the Tundra Bowl. So that's going to be interesting uh, to see how that goes. At least someone's trying to throw a tournament, Nathan. So, you know, it's good to see at least someone going out there and saying, hey, I'm going to try to do this because otherwise it's like, you know, when, it, when are people going to start doing what they like to do again? What's up, James Bond? Yes, I know. It's been, uh, been a good week, honestly. Just haven't got a chance to stream. Mutant League football, Mutant League hockey. Oh, yeah, the Sega channel. That's something I had to learn about from a co-worker at AT&T. He was telling me about it. I had no clue it existed. He's like, oh, yeah, when I was a kid, we had the Sega channel. I'm like, what is that? Old school. Hooked up to the internet, Sega Genesis, to get multiple games. Yeah, I'm glad you came out. It was good to meet you. We're always happy to meet new people. Especially following the channel, coming out. I'm surprised we meet some people from Chicago on the channel uh, quite a bit. Play again with, I think that was my last one. All right, Puro Power has got a tough question for everyone. So we'll, we'll all answer this and then. <laughs> I mean, I would say Vinny Testaverde is better than Jeff George. Statistically, though, it's probably Vinny Testaverde as well. Remember, those two guys were like the journeyman guys as veterans, as older guys that teams would pick up if their quarterback went down. They're like, get Jeff George or Vinny Testaverde. They can run the team. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a local celebrity. Uh, besides for the small niche we have. Um, you know, I have to tell people about the channel. It works the opposite. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be it for me, James Bond. So I won't be on. I just wanted to come on, play a few games of this warm up for the finals coming up on Sunday, six o'clock. So if you want to watch Sunday's central time, uh, there's going to be four of us here. Three of us playing. So I play Green Magic first round. DPS got a buy, and that's going to be the champion of the Retro Sports Gamer champion. Uh, so far, I won the first one. The first one ever was at my house. Green Magic won the last two. Is this DPS's year? We'll see. You know, Green Magic always clutches ones out, and uh, I will probably have no drinks in my system so i i could be uh i could be a challenger as well when i get out to the tournaments and set everything up and i get in the atmosphere i usually have a few more than i would like to uh perform well in the tournament like i'm not totally out of my game but not uh not making the sharpest decisions Around 6 p.m. on Sunday. Alright, so that's going to do it for tonight's stream. Should let LJC play. Well, he does, as you can see on the right side here, he didn't get any points. So, he can't play. <laughs> he can't play. There was three guys with two points. So... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Saturday. I mean, I was drinking all day since before noon, so. Oh, man, it was a long day, but that's kind of what happens at these tournaments. All right, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Stay free. And uh, if we don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you on Sunday for the finals of the Retro Sports Gamer Championship. Take care.